Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at the Profile Manager service that's built into macOS Server. Now, Profile Manager is a service that allows you to run your own mobile device management system. And what that means is that you can put profiles and configurations onto your different uh, Mac or iOS devices that enable or disable certain services and such that you have on each of your devices. And so it gives you a centralized way to, mobile, uh, to manage multiple mobile devices so that you don't have to go to each machine and do the settings by hand. And so it's a, it's a really great service. It's a powerful service that's built into macOS Server. And uh, it's one of the, one of the main reasons or, or a really good reason to actually have macOS Server running. So what we're going to do is walk through uh, the service today. I'm going to show you how to get it set up. And we're going to take a look at all these different configurations over here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you do need to have Open Directory running. Uh, it does require Open Directory for it to work, so you want to make sure that you have that service up and running. If you haven't watched the screencast I've done on that yet, you may want to go back and take a look at that. Uh, the other thing, too, is you want to make sure that you have your certificates set up uh, so that you've got your self-signed certificates and everything ready to go because we're going to be looking at those certificates uh, in a little bit as well. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at Profile Manager here. So up at the top, you can see it's offline right now because we haven't turned the service on. Uh, we've got our permissions. Again, we can edit the permissions at any time to be all networks, private networks, or only some networks. Again, this is uh, like a mini firewall for each of your services that's built into macOS Server. So you can kind of customize them however you'd like. I'm just going to leave it alone at all networks right now. Uh, the other thing is, as you see here, we've got device management is one of the first things that we run. And you see it's disabled. Now, this is what we need to set up in order for Profile Manager to work. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that Configure button. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to walk me through a process of setting up Profile Manager. Now, if for some reason you don't have Open Directory set up yet, it's going to uh, enable Open Directory and walk you through that process. At the same time, it's going to make sure the certificates are set up. So it's going to do everything within this wizard right here. Um, but I would recommend just going ahead and setting it up uh, ahead of time uh, using the videos that I've shown. Uh, but again, you can do it either, either way. So let's go ahead and click on Configure. And so now it's going to read the settings and uh, do this initial work here, and we're ready to go. So now it's going to, again, it says you can use the server to manage your user's Apple devices. If the devices have an internet connection, you can remotely lock or wipe them. So it does give you a lot of control. So let's go ahead and uh, click on Next. And so here is where we would put in uh, the information and name to identify your server, along with your email address and your phone number and all of that kind of stuff, whatever you'd like to put in here. So if you're a business, you put in your business name, email, phone number, address, and this is what's going to uh, help other people identify your server. And if something goes wrong, they know who to contact. So that's on there uh, ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, hit Next. And so now it's going to say, hey, uh, we need to put a uh, certificate on here. And it says, my web server isn't configured to use a trusted certificate. So all communications need, are, are going to be, uh, need to be encrypted. And so it says uh, that it isn't signed by a trusted authority, which in my case it actually is because I've got that Komodo certificate already set up. And so we should be ready to go. So I, go, I went ahead and selected that because that's a certificate that I've got. And so we're going to go ahead and say next. And so in here, to get push notifications to my devices, I would put in my Apple ID and password. So you want to make sure you have an Apple ID and password that you'll use for your server and so that you can have these uh, push uh, certificates sent out so that push notifications can be sent so that any changes you make with Profile Manager will automatically be pushed to all your devices. So let me go ahead and put that in and we'll take the next step. Okay, now that I have that information in there, I just go ahead and click Next. And it's going to go ahead and acquire the push certificate for me. And you can see it's getting the information right now. It's getting the push certificate status. And it's going to get that all set and installed for me. And now I just have to click Finish to enable device management. So I'm going to say Finish. And it's got everything set up. And now you see that it says Enabled right here so that we know the device uh, management service is enabled and we're all set and ready to go. Okay, now that we've got device management set up, now let's take a look at the next section, which is deployment programs. Now, Apple has a number of deployment programs set up. 
uh, to help you with deploying your devices and managing them. And you'll notice that we've got these set in three different groups here. We've got Apple School Manager, Device Enrollment Program, and Volume Purchasing Program. Now, each of these does something different. Uh, for the Apple School Manager, let's go ahead and just check that. This is one of Apple's newer uh, setups here. And this is if you're in education, if you've got uh, elementary school or higher education and you want to manage uh, your different uh, classrooms and your different devices, and you want to do that centrally. Uh, they've got a whole Apple Classroom uh, application for iPads and that sort of thing, and so you would set it up this way. And so you could say next, and then it'll ask you uh, to basically export a public key that you're going to use uh, as the key for your MDM server for School Manager. And so you would open School Manager and then put the public key in there and it would set everything up. Again, you have to be enrolled in Apple School Manager, which means you do have to be an institution to make this work, uh, but just wanted to show you what this looks like. So it's going to say back and cancel. Now we also have the Device Enrollment Program. Let me go ahead and uh, click on that as well. And this is a similar setup in that you will have a uh, deployment program. Maybe you're with a company and you're deploying multiple Apple devices, whether those are iOS or Mac, and they will come with your profiles pre-installed on them if you want to have that happen. So that right out of the box, all of your stuff is already set up and ready to go. And so it's a really nice service to have. And if I just say next on here, the same thing happens here, that I have a public key that I connect uh, from my server with the actual deployment program. And then it would allow me to then uh, buy devices with my certificates already on them and with all the different settings set the way I want them to be. Again, I'll just say back and cancel. These all look the same. And then volume purchase program uh, is the same uh, type of idea, only with applications. So again, if you're with a company, you've got 20 Macs or something like that, and you want to have all of them have the same application on it, rather than buy multiple um multiple copies of it with different Apple IDs. Instead, you can buy it once at a discount and then deploy it to all of your devices that have the certificate. So again, same type of thing here. I would come here and uh, then I would just drag the uh, token that they give me right in here from the volume purchase program. And then that token would allow me to install those applications and have them on all my devices. So let me go ahead and just cancel. So that's the deployment programs that are built into Profile Manager. And again, this Apple School Manager specifically standing out like this is a new addition to Profile Manager. It wasn't there before. And it's just something that you could, uh, you know, just kind of take a look at, but you're not going to be able to use the main components of the program unless you are an educator because they verify all of that. Okay, so we've got that set up and ready to go. Now down here we have the uh, default configuration profiles, and this is settings for everyone. And this default configuration profile, if I just click on configure, what it's going to do is you can see I can rename the profile, but it includes configuration for the various services that I've got set up. So as I add more services over here, they start to add to this area here where you can see the icons. And I would just, uh, I could change the name to whatever I want and say OK. And then that particular default configuration will be able to be added to my different devices by my users and have their particular uh, information pre-installed, like the information for VPN or for calendar or contacts and that sort of thing. So that instead of them having to put all that stuff in individually, it'll just automatically install what's needed to make that happen. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And then I can also choose to sign configuration profiles. And if I just go ahead and click on that, it's going to ask what certificate I want to use. So I'm going to pick, I can pick my uh, code signing certificate right here, or I can import a particular certificate if I want to have those signed um, by, my, uh, by my certificate and by my server. And so I can choose whichever one I want. I'm just going to cancel that because I'm not going to sign mine. So now that I've got all of this set up, all I need to do now is throw the switch and it's going to start the service. You can see that it's starting that up right now and it's going to load everything that I need to make Profile Manager work. And so it could take a few minutes to do that uh, just because it's going to be loading all of the different components. And there you go. You can see that we've already got that set up and it's available at uh, the particular website that it lists here. I can also get at it with these two links down here. One is for my devices and that's where I would enroll my Mac and iOS devices. And I'm going to show you how to do that specifically. And then one for Profile Manager itself that I can then open in Safari. So let's go ahead and just take a look at what this looks like. If I just click on Open in Safari, it'll bring up this page here. That'll take me into a login screen for uh, my actual profile manager. So let me go ahead and put my information in there. OK, 
Okay, once I have my information in there, I just click on Login. And once I've logged in, here I am in the Profile Manager interface. Now, one of the great things about this is that it is a web interface, which means that you can access it from anywhere. And from here, you can go ahead and manage all of your apps and books and devices and users and, and even classes if you're using the classroom um, setup that we talked about earlier to then manage everything that you've got here for your devices that are connected to your server. So let me just uh, go ahead and pull the server app back up here. And there we go. So that gives you an idea of how to do the initial setup of Profile Manager. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty powerful application. We're going to go through all of the different uh, features that are built into it, but I just wanted to show you how to get this set up so that we can then build off of this and start to explore it more in depth. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.